we will see how we can update a article using prisma client so i have created a put route here so i have like created in such a way like we can receive this id in the params so at first like we will try to update a single article so the idea is uh, to update like any, any of the articles let's say id1 and change the title of this article so let's try to do this so what we'll do is const article is equal to await prisma dot article dot update now since we want to update a single article that's why we are calling update if you want to update multiple articles we have to call update many we will see it and now in the update we have to pass two two things first is the where clause so where will be simple just like we did in the find find one so it will be id it will be request dot params dot id and in the second argument what we will pass is we'll pass the data so i guess there is some indentation error okay data so in the data we want to give all those fields that we want to update so in title we will say this is an updated title and we will simply return the response now let's see this in action so if i go into the postman create a separate route we'll say localhost article it will be a put route and uh, let's try to hit send and now you can see that the title has updated this is an updated title so if you refresh the prisma studio you can see that there is an update here uh, obviously like you can receive this update uh, in the request body as well like front end will send this request in the request body so you have to simply do this uh, uh, request dot body and in the body we will send this as a json we will say title and we'll say another update by body let's hit send you can see that it has updated so that's how you will do this now uh, the idea is in the update menu let's see how update menu works so what i want to do is i want to get the list of ids in the query params in the params so the user will send something like this ids as a comma separated value one comma two comma three comma four something like this so how we will do this let's see this so obviously we want to update multiple articles so we will call update many but first let let's like do some operations on this id so imagine that we will be getting something like this one comma two comma three comma four so this is a, a string of comma separated values so we want to like convert this into something like this 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so we want to convert into the array which has number as its elements or id as its element so how we will do this is uh, we will say const ids is equal to first we will split this string based on the comma so which will be request dot params dot ids dot split and we will split this based on comma and what this will give is this will give an array of these numbers which will be of type string so it will give something like this 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 but what we want to do is we want to typecast them to integers so 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 so what we'll do is we'll call map here we will receive id and we want to simply type us type cast that to integer by appending a plus here so it will map on all the fields on the elements of this array and it will type cast them to number so at the end we will be left with the array of all the ids which are of type number so now let's go ahead and update the articles so we'll say const articles is equal to await prisma dot article dot update many because we are updating multiple articles and inside the where clause we will say in sorry
So what we are doing is we are saying where ID must be in this ID's array. So in is a reserved keyword in the Prisma. So in means the ID uh, of the article must be present in this uh, array of IDs which we have just received in the params. And as a second argument, we will obviously pass data and we'll say title as. Okay, let's do it using request body only. So we'll say request dot body and we will say re response dot json and it will be articles now remember like it is not the object of articles rather it's the count of how many articles are updated so let's see so one two three four another updated body by update many let's try to hit send you can see that four articles are updated. So if you go into the Prisma Studio and hit refresh, you can see that the ID 1234 are updated. So this is how you update uh, multiple records in Prisma Client. There is one other method as well, which is absurd. So it goes something like this. Uh, uh, Prisma dot article dot absurd. So what absurd do is it will update the record if the record is present in the database else it would create a new record so if the record is not present in the database it will create it and if it's already there in the table it will update it so if you want to read more about this in the documentation you can go into the documentation inside this concepts and here you can see that we have prisma client and inside the crud just scroll here in the update section and you can read all about this how to update a single record how to update multiple records create update or create records and all these things and yeah so this one so you can see that absurd uh, update a user record with a specific email or create the record if it does not exist so this is how like update and absurd works in the next video we'll see how delete works